Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Summit Lake Cronmit. This Cronmit pattern works very good for us in Summit, as you can see, but it also works really good when you're fishing without an indicator, or as we call it, fishing naked. It works really well only because of the combination. It's not real heavy, but it's just heavy enough to get the fly in the zone and keep it there. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 12 scud bent hook. Some 8 aught olive thread to tie it with. A 1 8 inch super white bead for the bead. Some gunmetal gray flashaboo for the body. Some hot orange ultra wire for the rib. And some peacock light bright for the thorax. To start the fly off, as we always do, we tie it on our thread. And in this case, I've ran the bead up to the eyelet. And I've taken two strands of my flashaboo. That's it, just two strands. And I like to tie it right behind the bead. Tie them in there first, and then work your way backwards towards the rear of the hook, and that way it keeps the fly nice and even, especially the body. So we'll wrap this right down to the hook bend. So now that we have the flashy boo off the back, we're gonna take one strand of our wire, and we're gonna tie it in. Again, start up around near the eyelet, and work your way back. You wanna keep the body fairly even, and work it right back to the hook bend. Now that we have the wire tied in that we'll use for ribbing later, I'm going to take my two strands of flashaboo, take my thread back up to behind the bead, and wrap forward to form the body. And again, the cronmid body is fairly, fairly slender, quite thin. So just take a few wraps down below, and as you get closer to the bead, you can double back and take a few more wraps and, and build it up a little bit. But again, fairly thin body. Now that the body's tied in, I'm gonna take my hot orange ultra wire and take about, you know, again, six, five to six wraps up for separation and keep them fairly even and tie off right behind the bead. Now that the rib's tied in, I finish this fly a little bit differently. A lot of people will just wrap on thread to make it even from the bead back in and form a thorax. But I like to put on a little bit of flash, and that's where this light bright really comes in. I've got peacock light bright, and I just put a real thin amount on my thread, just dub it on, and again, keep it very, very thin. And then I'm just gonna wrap it over to form that a small thorax. And instead of the thread showing up, I've got this light bright. And this little bit of green just sets that pattern off, and it keep it very, very thin. It just really accentuates the pattern, gives it a little glitter, but not overwhelming. And then what we're going to do is tie off our thread right behind where we put the light bright in. So there it is, the Summit Lake Coronamid. Uh, we named it the Summit Lake Coronamid because it was working so well at Summit. But you know, again, it's a Coronamid. You can fish it anywhere. But what makes this one special is that little bit of green, uh, just that little bit of light bright to give it the flash, and of course, the gunmetal gray body. It's probably one of the best colors you're going to use on a Coronamid is gunmetal gray. The nice thing too about this pattern is it's nicely weighted for fishing without an indicator. So if you want to fish naked as we call it without an indicator, this one's the one you want to use. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.